Now, sound focus three goes to the sound ah. Now, this is a very American ah. This is a very English sound. I'm guessing that, hmm, we have speakers of Spanish and it's Japanese and Cantonese present with us today. And in our class, we also have speakers of Indian languages and other Chinese languages and Vietnamese. And we don't have the sound ah. So this is a very good American English sound. Ah. Are you looking at your tongue? Look at your tongue when you say ah. Ah, ah. Should be fat, flat. Now look at the difference between ah and ah. Okay, so mop. I need a mop and I need a map. Huh. Hmm. If you need a mop, you're probably going to clean the floor, right? But if you need a map, you want to know where to go or where something is located. Am I right? Okay. So, look at the difference in the tongue. I'll get up really close and you can see ah, uh, ah. Uh. Do you see a difference in my tongue? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Can you see the difference? Most Americans are not going to tell you. They're not going to say, look at my tongue. But I'm showing, I'm sharing my tongue with you to show you the difference. Because when you change the position of your tongue, you'll make a different vowel sound. Ah, ah, ah. So we are practicing the ah sound. Got it? Let's say some words. Act. Act. Let me hear you. Act. Is everyone Act. here? Cat. 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 Laugh. 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 Now this is an laugh. unusual word because it sounds like L-A-F. Laugh. That's perfect. That would follow the phonics rule, but it has L-A-U-G-H. And sometimes, as you know, the G-H at the end of a, of a syllable has a sound f in English as in tough and rough and enough. When it's after this word, L-A-U-G-H, the British say ah, laugh, ah, laugh. And the Americans say ah, laugh. Do you like to laugh? Let's laugh. Laughter is good for you. Laugh, the sound ah. Okay, now here's a word. This follows the vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant pattern, cat and pack. So the next one is pack. So the, when you, this kind of goes back to what I was telling you about, about the uh versus oo. Now I'm telling you about the a ah versus a. So a ah will be consonant, vowel, cov, consonant. So the a ah sound in English can never be at the end of a syllable. It must be closed off by a consonant, one or more consonants, as this one is pack. All right, let's go on to the next one. Example. 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 So this one is closed, M, by, closed off by the letter M, by the sound M. Analyze. Analyze. Not ah, but eh. Look at the tongue. Ah, eh. Ah, eh. Ah, eh. See the shape of my mouth this way, and my tongue is up this way more than, if it's ah, my tongue is this way. Right, but I was ah. You can see it more like a hump. Analyze, uh, analyze, analyze, analyze. Analyze has three syllables. Where is the stress? First, second, or third syllable? First. Analyze. First. Right, stressed on the first syllable. So the first syllable has to be clear. Ah, n. The second one is weak. The second one is a schwa. Ana, ana, analyze. Analyze. In fact, one of the classmates' name is Anna. But maybe in your language, you don't say ah, you say ah. Right? So in Spanish, we don't say ah, we say ah. We say ah, na. Ana. Ana. Ah, na. But both have ah sounds. But in English, no. We say ah on the stressed syllable, and we say uh on the weak syllable. syllable. Anna. Analyze. Anna. Analyze. And the third syllable is... <clears throat> what do you say? Clear or unclear? Analyze. 
it's clear. It's clear. We say eyes. We don't say analyze. That's not the word. Analyze. So lies, okay. eye is still clear. But it's still high, low, low. Analyze. That's a verb. What about the noun? Well, we learned something about moving or shifting the stress from one syllable to the next. And in this case, for the noun, we don't, we have four syllables and we say, uh, na, la, sis, stressed on the second. That's the one that becomes clear. What happens to the first and the third? Becomes weak, uh. So watch my, watch my mouth. Small, big, small, big. Watch this. Uh, na, la, sis. Only the second one is big, right? Analysis. All the other ones are weak. Actually, all the ones, other ones are, are short. Analysis. That's a good analysis. 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 Okay. And then we have the word that's very common, understand. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Understand. Right, that's three. Three, understand. stress the third one, understand. Here's another word, talented. talented, talented, talented. If you're very talented, you have many talents or a very good talent. You're able to do, you're very skillful. Actually, actually, if you can, actually. if you say act, ah, and if you're saying ah, ah, look at the shape of the, the shape of my mouth. If I say ah, 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 act. Do you see? Do you see? This is a tense vowel. So here, I need to have. If it's too relaxed, actually, actually, I want to speak better, but I can't because I can't move my mouth very much. Oh, wake up! Ack, actually. Okay, say that. Actually, actually, actually I understand. Okay, here's another word: phonograph. 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 How many syllables Phonograph. are there? Phonograph. Phonograph. Three, right? Where's the stress? Phonograph. First. First, right. Phonograph. So, do we have any schwa vowels in this word? Phonograph. Phonograph. Any schwa vowels? Any weak, reduced vowels? Second. The second. The second. Second. Right. second. The second one. Second. Right. Second. So we don't say phono. We say phone. Phone. Phonograph. And we have a third syllable which is unstressed but clear. Right? Clear. So we don't say phonograph. We say ah. Phonograph. And it rhymes with photograph. I'm going to take your photograph. Phonograph. We don't talk about phonographs so much anymore. Maybe our parents did, right? Because, or grandparents, because those were the days. And now, after phonograph records, we got CDs. And now we just download our music onto MP3s, right? So the technology has changed a lot. Let's look at the word capacity. How many sound, how many syllables do you hear? Capacity. 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 Four. four. Right. And where's the stress? Which syllable is stressed? First, second, third, or fourth? Capacity. Second. Second. You second. said that so well. Excellent. Okay. Capacity. Do we have any schwa vowels? Any schwa vowels in this word? Watch my mouth. Capacity. No. No? No schwa vowels? Capacity. All of them are clear, right? Capacity. Do you have a capacity? Do you understand? No. Watch me again. Capacity. Capacity. Can you see some weak vowels there? Some reduced vowels? Uh, first or third? First and third. The first, er, 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 the first, first and the third, first. right. The first and the third syllables are weak. K, pa, s, t. All right, so two are clear, pa and t, the th second and third and the fourth. But the first and third are weak. Capacity. 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 How does that 
compare to the, no, this is a, a, a noun. How does that compare to the, the adjective form capable? Capable. Capable. Those are three syllables, right? Stressed on which one? Stressed on syllable number one, capable. So, yes, good. And let's go back to what I taught you about the U versus A. Uh. We have the A versus A. Uh. So, if it's K hyphen pable, you see K, we have the A sound, it's not cap. So capable, capable is not the same as capable. If we have a double P that will close off the letter A, we would say cap. But when we have CA, that's the first vowel uh, it, that's open, we can say A, capable. Does that help you with it? Uh, liking, you were the one who asked about, is there anything in spelling that can help you, right? Are you there, Kik? Are you there anymore? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm okay. on mute. I'm on mute. You're on mute. Oh, M-U-T-E. Mute. U -E. or U. Mute rhymes with cute. Got it? But M-U-T or M-U-T-T -T with a double T is mutt. And M-U-T-E, M-U-T-E is U or U. Mute. So you put yourself on mute because you what you didn't want to share your voice with us. Is that what? No, my daughter is at the background talking. Oh, she's talking. Okay, maybe she's practicing with you. You think? 